So getting started with TweetSaver is pretty quick and easy. Uh, first you'll want to go ahead and pick a login. Um, doesn't have to be your Twitter username, but it uh, works out just as well. Go ahead and throw in your email in case we need to contact you. And your password can be any password. It doesn't need to be your Twitter password. Um, we'll use this in case Twitter authentication is down and you still want to log into TweetSaver. So here we'll shoot you out to Twitter to authenticate your Twitter account so we can pull in your tweets. And go ahead and click allow and we'll send you back. Alright, so once you've authorized your Twitter account, you'll get redirected back to TweetSaver and to our subscription page where you can choose the subscription that you would like. We have a couple different options, monthly and a yearly plan and also a tweet blast option which will send out a tweet on your behalf that says I'm saving my tweets at tweetsaver.com before they're gone forever and if you choose one of these plans you can save up to 50% off the price of tweetsaver alright so we'll go ahead and choose the tweet blast yearly option to save 50% and you'll get sent to this page where you'll be putting in your subscription information you can see which plan you're signing up for how often it's going to recur and the price um, then you want to go ahead and fill out all your information, including your credit card number, information, billing address. And once you click purchase the subscription, we'll go ahead and charge your card for the first payment period and send you back to TweetSaver. Alright, so now you get sent back to your Tweets page here. This is the default page in TweetSaver. And as you see by that fast message, we're going to be uh, taking a minute to pull in your tweets depending on how many you have it could uh, take a little bit of time so feel free to refresh the page uh, at your leisure and uh, your tweets will start showing up as we pull them in alright so now that we got all of our tweets pulled in from Twitter for uh, our squeegee ink account we can now use TweetSaver normally and there's uh, a number of features but I'll just go over a couple really quick um, the first one is search so um, just type in any keyword username or anything uh, that you want to search for and hit enter and you'll see search results so we'll highlight whatever the uh, query was that you were searching for to make it easy to see and then break it out between your normal tweets, uh, mentions, DMs, favorites, all that will be sorted uh, right here. So then you can just kind of scroll down and see what your search results are. Uh, what's pretty cool about the search functionality if you're using TweetSaver is that, um, as you can see here, this one's from five months ago. So uh, TweetSaver has the ability to go um, very far back in your Twitter history um, further than you can get on search.twitter.com um, and much more convenient than paginating through your twitter.com profile. Uh, so once you find the tweet that you're looking for um, if you click on it you get uh, sent to the tweet detail page which here is where you can share the tweet um, tag it or do a number of other things so uh, if you want to add a tag to a particular tweet, um, just go ahead and type it in, hit the space bar, and it'll automatically get added. So we'll just go ahead and add a couple here. Um, if you decide you want to delete one, you can just hover over it and uh, hit the remove. Alright, so then if we head back to the main tweets page, you'll see over here that our tags are showing up in this little tag cloud and if you want you can click on a tag and you'll see all the tweets with that particular tag back on the tweet detail page if you want to share a tweet um, just go ahead and hover over the share button here and then you can send it to a variety of different sources Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr um, pretty much any social media sharing or bookmarking site it's a pretty powerful tool. And then over here on the left you have a general navigation, your tweets, favorites, um, all your all of your mentions, direct messages, um, and a couple other things that you can explore as you have time. So hope you enjoy TweetSaver and please send us any feedback that you might have.